So it's Monday, July 29th, 2024, and I have the opportunity again of doing another Mike Ferry TV. A little while ago, I recorded the first one I ever did. And at the end of it, because of course, Mike Ferry, not only my husband, but the man, the presenter, the real estate coach said to me, how did you do? <laughs> and I thought to myself, well, I kind of forgot to have a script. I think I did okay, but I wanted to have the opportunity of correcting some of this. So when I was asked to do it again, I thought, yes, I am ready because I have a script this time. And it's been one of the things that, you know, Mike has taught us for a long, long time. Have a script. You want to know what you want to say. A script will keep you on track. It will keep you from rambling and just going on and on and on. It's obviously very logical and you talk about certain things that are designed to move you forward. A script also will get you to a natural ending at some point in your presentation with hopefully the outcome that you want to have. So for this Mike Ferry TV, I have actually created my script. Let me share it with you because I appreciate that your time is valuable and you want something to learn. You want to be able to take something from today's message and say, I can apply this. So here's what I want to share with you. I received a text after the Superstar Retreat ended and it was on last Monday actually is when I got this and it was from one of our coaches who is involved in an Ironman. Now, she participated at the retreat from last Monday or two Mondays ago through the 19th of July. Then she takes all of her stuff, flies up to Seattle and participates in this Ironman. And I said to her in a text, how did it go? And here's the response I got from her. There were a couple of challenges, but I could hear Mike's voice from the retreat saying, every problem has a solution. And then she went on to say, for example, she's swimming, her goggles uh, fogged up, and she couldn't see a buoy that she actually hit. She swam into the buoy. She got her leg wrapped around the line that holds the buoy down. And she had a moment of panic. And she said, all of a sudden, all I could think of was Mike Ferry saying, every problem has a solution. Okay, now, so how does that apply to you? Let's think about this for a minute. Anything go wrong between coming to the retreat or just even two weeks ago, any deal go a little sideways, anything happen when you came to Las Vegas, if you were here for the retreat, which by the way, thank you for attending, it was a great event. But one of the days of the retreat, there is a software glitch that goes global and affects so many different industries, so many countries, airports, ambulances, all kinds of stuff. I'm sure you guys all saw it and heard about it. Well, every problem has a solution. Everything has pretty much been rectified now and we're back on track. Did you have a deal or something that went a little sideways in the last two weeks? Has it been fixed or have you moved on? Every problem has a solution. You have to get to the point where you're looking for the solution though, to get away from the problem. Because you're always going to face challenges, no matter what you do, there's always something that happens. So she went on to say the next thing that happens is she has to cycle. Iron Man is swimming, cycling and running. She gets on her bike, the chain falls off. Okay, now that's a problem. A bike's not gonna go very far without a chain. And she was like, I have to fix it. I'm the only one there. I had to figure out how to get that chain back on the bike, get it working again. So consider this, every problem has a solution. 
She found a way to fix her bike. She was able to get back on and she was able to complete that segment of the competition. So how's it apply to you? Ever have an assistant quit without notice? You're just left there going, oh my gosh, what am I going to do? You have a deal that you've been counting on fall apart. Oh my gosh, what am I going to do? You have something that you weren't expecting. You have a, a health issue, a family member has a challenge. Again, oh my gosh, what am I going to do? I want you to go back and hear Mike Ferry's voice and go, every problem has a solution. We've all gone through this. We've had staff changes. MFO has gone through this many times, as will you. When you work with people, things happen. In life, things happen. So let's take the focus off the problem and put it on the solution. What are possible solutions? So the third thing that she shared, and I thought this one was interesting because again, I think it's something we can all relate to. She said at one point, her mindset, she's starting talking to herself. They're up in the wilderness up in Seattle in mountains and forests and all that stuff. And she starts telling herself, what if there's a bear? What if there's poison ivy along this train? I'm sorry, along the trail. What if there's something else that I can't control? And I thought to myself, isn't that interesting? So much of the time we can be the problem. We're the issue. It's our self-talk. What are you telling yourself today? What is your self-talk currently? Is that little voice in your head telling you why you can't do it? Why there's something wrong? What's going to implode or explode if you do this? Or are you focused on the solution? For that little self-talk voice, ever notice that it's not there telling you that you can do it, you've got this? Generally, it's always negative. So instead of listening to the voice, start telling the voice what you want it to hear, what you want the reaction to be, what you want the outcome to be. We always used to do at seminars where we'd have everyone stand up and they'd point at themselves and say, I am a great salesperson. And then the little voice goes, no, you're not. No, you're not. You never do what you're supposed to do. Well, keep telling yourself that you are and put the actions into effect so that you are doing the things that a great salesperson does. Remember, if you believe you're not and you never take any action, well, votes unanimous, you're not going to accomplish anything. But to every day have the opportunity of saying, you know what, today, today, I'm going to focus on the solution. Problems, hate to tell you guys, but they're going to keep coming. Every single day you will face something. Now the challenge simply becomes, are you going to focus on the problem or are you going to focus on the solution? So obviously I'm going to suggest to you that you focus on the solution. A little while ago, I actually do a podcast that we do once a month. It's called Q7. We have a lady from either real estate or just somebody who's accomplished and has done some interesting things. And we ask them the same seven questions. And it deals with how do you handle overwhelm? How do you handle your mindset? How do you handle when something implodes or explodes? What do you do? How do you handle these stresses? And it was so interesting to me because this person that we had as our guest in July was a former coach of ours named Kathy Anderson. And many of you will remember Kathy. She was a 
fantastic coach, a great lady, and she had a lot of great nuggets on this call. But one of the things that she said that we all laughed about was she said to us that if Mike called her while she was coaching, her assistant would get the call and she would take the message. And as soon as Kathy could respond, she would come in and she'd say, Mike called, he needs you to call right away. Sounds ominous, doesn't it? But the game always was the assistant would then say, I'm sure he wants to give you a raise. And it was always something positive. Notice your own reaction. You go from, uh-oh, what's going on? What does he need? What's the problem when a seller calls or a client calls? I need to talk to you right away. Is your first reaction, oh no. What's going on? Next time, think if it's the seller, they're calling because there's someone who knocked at the door and wants to see the house and they want to buy it. Or they're thinking that they need to lower the price because they need to get this sold. Why not believe in the positive? Why not believe that there is something that can good that can come out of this? Again, take the focus off the problem and go for the solution. So when you make that little adjustment and you start practicing this every day, this is where what Mike calls the accumulation factor comes into effect. It won't change in a day. It won't change probably in a week. But if you keep working on this and constantly looking for the solution, because every problem does have a solution, your mindset will start to change as well. A little while ago, this was from a few years ago actually, Mike for my birthday gave me a little button and I kept it because I always thought it was funny and you won't be able to read it from there. But here's the button and it actually says, I've survived damn near everything. And sometimes I look at this little button and go, yep, there has been a lot that has come our way. And for some of you, there's a lot that has happened. But every day we have a choice to get up, try again, and find the solution versus looking at the problem. You don't want to get stuck in the problem. Move forward. Find the solution. Thanks for your time.